today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Sony WF-1000 XM5 headphones. I ended up ordering the previous generation, the XM4 headphones, about a year ago when my AirPod Pros kept slipping out of my ears. The silicone tips on the AirPod Pros really frustrate me. Uh, they don't stay in my ears very well and it's just been an overall bad experience. So I ordered the XM4s a year ago and it was a pretty incredible experience. I think the one of the only negatives I had about them was they weren't comfortable to wear for more than uh, maybe an hour or two, um, but I didn't usually wear headphones much longer than that anyways, so um, it wasn't too incredibly bad. Right out of the box here, it's a pretty similar unboxing experience to the first or the previous generation. Uh, the XM4s came in a small box just like this, lots of instruction material, same uh, ridiculously small charging cord as you can see there um, it's it's almost laughable how short that charger is but luckily it's USB-C so I don't know about you guys but I have a bunch of those lying around all over the house so I'm just never gonna use that cord uh, they included some tips this year you can see they have the little uh, filter in there just kind of like the AirPod Pros do just a little bit extra to catch you know earwax or anything else that might try to get in your headphones, so nice they included that. Um, it looks like there's a super small, or whatever SS stands for, and then a small, and then a large, with the medium already being on the earbuds themselves. And it looks like all three of them did have the little filter in there, so there's nothing to, uh, no reason to use one over the other except for comfort and fit. The case itself is different I guess I don't really know how to explain it I did not I actually hated the closing hinge like the hinge how it closed on the XM4s I felt like it was always gonna break it wasn't very secure I felt like it just was a little bit too loose it wasn't really that great uh, on the XM5 the hinge is awesome it really is really nice but now it's kind of weird because the headphones they don't magnetically stay in as well. So you'll, you'll see in a second here, um, you can kind of tell the strength of the magnets in a later part of the video where I compare the previous generation headphones to the, the current generation. But they definitely have a different aesthetic. Um, you know, as you can see, they're very shiny, uh, very reflective. There's a lot less like in your face gold um, or that bronze color that they combined with the black on the previous generation. Now it's, it's really just very slim, very stylish. Uh, little headphones. They go in the case pretty well. They do have a nice um, solid magnetic click in there. Not as strong as I'd like, um, like on the previous generation, but the lid on this is phenomenal. Super sturdy, very solid. It clicks into place and it just, it feels great. So I was very happy about that. Uh, here you can see I'm comparing the previous generation XM4s on the left to the current generation XM5s on the right. XM4s, they're, the only difference really, there's no button on the back like the XM5s have, and then that light is much bigger. Um, it's it's a just a bar, it's a light bar instead of one little dot. Um, you can see on the headphones themselves, like that the little bronze, you know, thing sticking out, the little vent shaft there, it's very like, I loved that aesthetic. I thought it looked really good. I thought it had this really cool kind of vibe of, they weren't just like, headphones you know you put in your ears but they actually like, had like kind of a cool style to them um, on the xm4s you can see it's got that button i mentioned um, but the the style is definitely a little bit different these are a little bit stealthier um, you know it kind of reminds me of the samsung buds um, i think the ones that released last year where they're just like a little bit more slim a little more stealthy um, and not as showy or in your face the cases themselves, pretty comparable in size. Um, as you can see, the XM5's case is definitely a little bit smaller. Um, it's not as wide, it's not as tall, um, it's not as thick. It's, it's pretty much smaller in every possible dimension. And it's smoother. Um, you'll see, like you can tell right there, it's much more rounded along the top edges. There's no sharp you know, edges on it on that one. So. The audio you're currently hearing is being recorded on the previous generation Sony WF-1000 XM4s. And this audio is being recorded on the new Sony WF-1000 
XM5 in your headphones. Which do you think sounds better? All in all, for my review of the uh, the Sony WF-1000 XM5 headphones, uh, I really like them. I think they sound great. Um, I think they, they it's a nice improvement on the looks a little bit. And then I like the new case and the battery life, you know, all the main features. Um, I really, I'd have to say, so the, for the XM5s, there's, there's four things that really stick out to me um, compared to the previous generation or just in general. Um, the first one's gonna be the touch sensitivity. When, so the old ones, like you'd have to tap or double tap to like skip a song or triple tap to go back. I think the new generation headphones definitely are better. On the old ones, my XM4s, I'd constantly find myself like tap, tap, but I'd only get one of them and my music would pause and then I'd have to tap, tap again to like skip to the next one and then the music would start playing. And it was really hard to get like a really consistent tap on the button. These ones I've had no issues at all. It's great. Um, also during my testing and comparing the two, I noticed like if I lay down in bed, um, my XM4s constantly, when they tap the pillow and stuff, they would actually like pause and unpause um, and adjust the, the noise cancellation, but my XM5s didn't do that at all. Um, I actually wore my XM5s for seven hours straight just for fun. I put them in and I'd listen to music and then turn it off and noise canceling and just like tested them out, used them in the rain. Um, and that was a really good experience, but I had no issues with the touching on the, the, the earpieces like I did with my old XM4s. The second thing I have to say is the battery life. Um, it definitely is awesome. Like I said, I wore them for seven hours with the noise canceling on and they were still at 30% when I was done. I watched some movies, listened to some music, just had them in my ears with nothing playing, did a couple phone calls. Um, I went on a walk in the rain listening to music when I was doing some returns. Um, and some other, th some, you know, tasks and stuff. And they lasted seven hours, no issues, super comfortable, 30% battery life still after seven hours of use. Um, that was great. So battery life is phenomenal. I did notice I had to charge the case um, a couple times. Like it wasn't dead or anything, but it was like low enough that like the orange light would come on or something. So um, just since the couple days I've had them, I've had to charge it once or twice, but I have been using them a lot. So that does make sense. Um, the third thing, that I really like about the XM5 headphones is gonna be the noise canceling. Um, the noise canceling is phenomenal. The, the, the audio pass through, like when you're hearing people talk and stuff and it's feeding it through to you, not very good. Honestly, um, I leave it on sometimes when I'm around the kids or my wife so I can hear them, but there were several times where I'd still have to like pause my show or pause my music or just like turn the volume way down so I could hear what they're saying or even take it out. Like it just, it's not good yet. Like the AirPods Pro is still like top, top, top of the line for audio pass through. There's been so many times where like I'm going to get in the pool and I have to like make sure that my AirPods aren't in <laughs> because sometimes it's just like, you can't even tell they're there and the pass through is so good. You can't even tell you have your phones in. But um, on the XM5, that's not the case. If you put one in one ear and then leave the other one open, you can clearly tell that one of them is more muffled than the other. Um, and it's just, it's not as good of an experience, but the noise canceling is incredible. I think personally, I think it beats my old XM4s as well as I think it beats my AirPods Pro that I used to use. Um, it is just top notch. It mutes basically all sound. It sounds incredible. I'm very, very happy with the noise canceling. The last thing, uh, that I want to mention on the XM5s is kind of the price. I don't like the $320 price, like, mine was $300, $320 with tax. Um, XM4s went on sale on Amazon the other day for $185, like $180, $185. I don't think that the XM5 is enough of an improvement to pay another $120 just to get the newer ones. Um, especially because the newer ones, they'll have like, they have Bluetooth 5.3, but the old ones had Bluetooth 5.2. It's not a substantial improvement. Um, the battery life on the old ones was still great. So the battery life on the new ones is, I mean, they're both pretty comparable. Um, the I think the mics were, they're pretty comparable too. I mean, everything about the four and the five, it seems kind of like an incremental upgrade, just better battery life, better noise canceling, um, you know, did a little bit different case. They both have wireless charging. They're both uh, waterproof. I think it's uh, IPX4 water resistance. I mean, they're they're splash proof. It's it's the same exact thing. It's just a little bit different. Um, but that price, three hundred three hundred dollars versus one hundred eighty when it's on sale, two hundred two twenty. A lot of times, 
that's that's gonna be really that's the thing for me. I I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep my XM4s. Uh, I'm gonna keep them and continue to use them because they've been great. I like how they look. I think they worked really well. Um, and I don't really have a reason to spend three hundred dollars to upgrade to a pair of headphones that has slightly better noise cancellation. Um, in addition to that, one other thing that's been slight of an annoyance for me um, has been that the new headphones on the XM5s, they're slippery. They're not, they're like a matte texture or like a, like a smooth texture on the headphone. When you go to pull it out of the case, there's been several times where my fingers, if they're just even the slightest bit like, you know, slippery or wet or anything, it just, you can't get them out of there very easily. And I've never had that issue on the XM4s. So um, that was like kind of another thing that just kind of annoyed me. It wasn't the end of the world. Like I can still get it out and eventually I get them in. And I think they're, they're more comfortable um, like I said, I wore them for seven hours straight and it was very comfortable. I had no issues at all. My ears didn't hurt afterward. I'm usually pretty picky about headphones. They're very, very comfortable, but for me, that $300 price tag is too much. So that's everything I can think of for my review of the, the new uh, Sony XM5 headphones. Um, hopefully you found this video informative. Uh, if you did, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Tell me if you think there's any features or anything that I missed on them. Um, any improvements you want to see to my videos, whatever. I'm always open to feedback, uh, especially constructive criticisms. So thank you so much. See you guys around.